Hey guys, Persistent Programmer here and welcome to my channel. So today we're going to look at the problem, the first unique character in a string. And if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button below this video because that helps me create this content for you guys. Awesome. So let's go ahead and dive right into the question. So we're given this string s and what we need to find is the first non-repeating character in this string and return its index. So uh, for our first example, we can see that, okay, there are no other l's in this string and the first character l is at the index 0 so we need to return a 0 for this case now let's look at another example where l is repeating itself so in the second case we have a repetition here so l is repeated here and here and the question we need to ask ourselves is first of all is the string unique and second of all is this the first occurrence of that unique uh, string. So here we can see that L is not unique and it doesn't appear to be the first unique character because it's uh, there's duplicates of L. And so we can go through this string and see, okay, does O exist in the string? Yes, it does. So it's again, not unique. Now we are at V and okay, V does not exist in any other parts of the string. So yeah, we can go ahead and return the index of V, which is two. So this is zero, one, and two. So we need to return two. So that's how we're getting these integer returns. Okay, so the most optimized way to solve this problem is to have a system to track whether the character we're at is unique or not. So here, what I've done is, this is um, a map of the string leak code. And what I've done is I have written out, um, I've iterated through each of the characters and what I'm doing is if I encounter that character again, I'm just setting um, that character's mapping to false. So for example, E, the first time we encounter it, it is initialized to true. And then the second time we encounter it, uh, we just set it to false. So this gives me a clear indication of which characters are unique and which characters are not. So that's the first step to create our dictionary and mapping. And that's what I've done here. And then what we can do is iterate over the string again and see if this character exists in the map. So in our case, this L, yes, it does exist in the map and we will encounter it first um, when we're iterating over this string again. And what we need to do is just return the index uh, of that string when we're iterating over it. So that will be, um, so in this case, the first time we um, encountered this L in this map will be when I is zero. So that way we're just gonna return um, our index and solve this problem. Great, so here's our second example uh, with our string lovely code. And what I've done is I've created this map here, which is our first step. And the second step is just to iterate over each of the item in the string. So we'll start here. So this is our index zero. And then, so we check, oh, okay, the L is false. That means it's not unique. So it's not going to be this one. So then we move on to one and um, O is also false because it exists again here in the leak code. So uh, that's not gonna be our answer. And then we're at this index two and we can see that V is the first unique um, non-repeating character. And this is at index two. So we're just gonna return two because I is two here. Okay, awesome. So if that makes sense, I'll go over the um, time and space complexity. So the time complexity is going to be O of n because we will iterate over our um, uh, string here. So we need to iterate over the entire string and that's why our time complexity is O of n. And our space complexity is also going to be O of n because we are creating um, this map and storing all these values in that map. So that's why our space complexity is O of n. Okay, and so in summary, our solution is to create our unique map and insert the characters. So that's our first step. And we're gonna set them to true or false um, based on if it's encountered once versus if we keep seeing that character. So it will be set to false if it's not unique. And the last thing we need to do is iterate over our string again and check where um, the first occurrence of that non-repeating character and return that index. Awesome, so I'm back in leak code and what I've done here is created the ST map. So this is what we'll use to track if we've seen that um, character or not. 
and I have set up a for loop here so we're going to iterate through each item in this string and what we want to do is check if um, that character if si is so if if that character is not in the map then we want to add it so we'll say is not in st map then what we're going to do is say st map at the index of si is going to equal to true okay, because this is unique so that's how we're marking it and um, then we want to check if it exists so else if it does exist then it's no longer true and we can return false so else what we want to do is uh, set this to false so if this is the case that means that character appeared again um, so what will happen is first we'll put in this e and then that will be set to true but then again when we find this e again we will set the index e to false because um, it is no longer a unique character or the first unique uh, character okay so next what we want to do is iterate over the list again and we want to find the first character in the st map and return that index which is set to true because that's the one we're looking for so i'm going to create my for loop so for i in range to be zero to len s and in this range what we want to find is if if we have um, if st map has that um, item has that character set to true so this is how we're determining that if this is true then we are going to return that i which is the index um, otherwise we will return negative one means no unique character found Okay, so I will give this a run. ST map is not defined. Oh, I misspelled it. Okay, so it should be. Yeah, let me just change this. It's ST map. ST map. Okay. Okay, looks good now. Let me run again. Okay, awesome. Accepted. And I'm going to submit. Yay, success.